the conflicting origin of a piece of cake. Finding the precise history of the idiom, a piece of cake, is no picnic as I discovered. According to the websites, theidioms.com and Bloomsbury International, a British language school, its origins can be traced back to the late 19th century us. It is believed that this phrase was invented in the 1870s during slavery in the southern states of America. As part of a dance or celebration organized by slave owners, black slaves would compete in cakewalks, performing a dance which imitated in subtly, sick, mocked the elaborate and ostentatious gestures of the white slave owners. The most elegant couple slash team would be given a cake as an award. The prize for best dancing African-American couple was a piece of cake, ergo. The piece of cake that was awarded as the prize to the best couple slash team came to be known among the blacks as something very easy to obtain. A sort of underhand and hidden insult to unknowing white ruling class. Now, I'm dubious whether slave owners and their families would generously share their dinner desserts with human property, but it could be possible, and I admit I know next to nothing of the traditions that were held in Southern American homes before the Civil War, but according to History.com slavery was abolished in the US in 1865. So weren't African American slaves freed by the 1870s? Would slave couples continue to dance and ridicule their owners or employers in front of their very eyes? The reputable site, Phrase Finder, suggests a different story. This phrase is of American origin. At least, the earliest citation of it that I can find is from the American poet and humorist Ogden Nash's Primrose Path, 1936, her pictures in the papers now, and life's a piece of cake. The choice of cake or pie as a symbol of ease and pleasantry is well represented in the language. Other phrases along the same lines include as easy as pie, a cake walk, that takes the cake slash biscuit. Vocabulary.com suggests that the origin of cake walk is much older and includes the following definition. The Americanism cake walk, used to mean something easy, came first in the 1860s, piece of cake wasn't used until around 1936. Both cake and pie have a long history in the United States as metaphors for things that come easily. The search continues, according to American Heritage Dictionary, the idiom is British. Something easily accomplished, as in I had no trouble finding your house a piece of cake. This expression originated in the Royal Air Force in the late 1930s for an easy mission, and the precise reference is as mysterious as that of the simile easy as pie. Possibly it evokes the easy accomplishment of swallowing a slice of sweet dessert. The following question, idiom origins, piece of cake and walk in the park and close, no cigar? Is related but was closed for lack of research and also I suspect for being too broad. Furthermore, the only answer posted cites the 1870s origin written by Bloomsbury International as supporting evidence. Questions. Which of the sources cited above is closer to the truth? Is there an earlier citation than 1936 as cited by PhraseFinder? Is the idiom piece of cake American or British? Probably the often cited relation of the origin of the expression piece of cake with cakewalk is only incidental. As suggested in the following extract from the Grammophobia, the idea of cake as something pleasant and easy to swallow dates back at least to the 16th century. Piece of cake may be just a later version along those lines. The Oxford English Dictionary doesn't comment on the difficulties of cake making, but it agrees with you that the colloquial phrase a piece of cake refers to something easy or pleasant. How did cake get this reputation? As the OED explains, cake is associated figuratively, especially by children, as a good thing, the dainty, delicacy, or sweets of a repast. Cake comes off as highly rated in other phrases as well. The expression you can't have your cake, that is, keep your cake, and eat it two dates back, in various forms, to the 1500s. Here's his earliest incarnation, from John Haywood's Proverbs and Epigrams, 1562, Bother you both eat your cake, and how your cake? The phrases cakes and ale, in England, and cake and cheese, in Scotland, have been used since the early 1600s as metaphors for the good things in life. Similarly, the 19th century American expression to take the cake means to carry off the honors, ranked first, the OED says, adding that it's often used ironically or as an expression of surprise. And of course, any extra trimmings in the way of good luck will inevitably be described as the icing on the cake, 1969. A piece of cake. 
The OED's first citation comes from a collection of late verse by Ogden Nash, The Primrose Path, 1935, Her Pictures in the Papers Now, and Life's a Piece of Cake. The odd has a different suggestion, as he noted, as to its origin, but both sources see its earliest usages from the 30s. I'd point out that the supporting idea is the same. Possibly it evokes the easy accomplishment of swallowing a slice of sweet dessert. 2. Is there an earlier citation than 1936? Note that the Primrose Path was published in 1935, not in 1936 as a number of sites suggest. 3. Is the idiom piece of cake American or British? The site's the Babel blog, Smartling and Manly Not One-Off Britishism and classify a piece of cake as an Alma idiom. A piece of cake is as American as red velvet cake. There was a 1943 book. It's a piece of cake or RAF slang made easy, by squadron leader C. H. Ward Jackson, The Sylvan Press, London. As noted in Aeronautical Engineering Review. The 1974 The Folk Speech of United States Air Force Transport Pilot says. Page 48, a list of R. A. F. Contributions to the language of American pilots would include prang, crump, piece of cake, tally, no joy, bailout. Page 74, these few etymologies have also served to show that there is no one right source or explanation for an expression, for the expert philologist or lexicographer may himself only be guessing. Partridge, the premier expert on English slang, proves this point as he has attempted through the years to trace the origin of it's a piece of cake. This expression, once popularly heard in the R. A. F. remained alive in the language of the Air Force transport pilot in the adjectival phrase, piece of cake. Here Partridge means the 1945 A Dictionary of RAF Slang. An early printed example is in the newspaper article Berlin is easy for the Western Mail September 12, 1940. A comment of another kind from a young air gunner was, compared with some other places in Germany, going to Berlin was a piece of cake. The same line also appears in a book entitled Through the Dark Night, written by war correspondent and British novelist, James Lansdale Hodson. In the July 28, 1933 Hoyt News and Border Chronicle, Roxburghshire, Scotland, on page 1, there is an advertisement saying, a stick of dynamite is like a piece of sponge cake compared to the dramatic punch in attorney for the defense featuring Edmund Lowe, Evelyn Brent and Amp, Constance Cummings. And advertising the same movie in the September 27, 1933 Kirkintillic Herald, Dunbartonshire, Scotland, at page 5. Stick of dynamite is like a piece of sponge cake as compared to the dramatic punch in this great picture. The inclusion of the word compared and the reference to cake as a harmless thing seems consistent with later RAF usage. For example in the November 13, 1942 Dundee Courier, Angus, Scotland, Article King told of Genoa piece of cake. The Italian defenses are just a piece of cake compared with the Germans, said one pilot. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.